Hello, I'm David Lynch from Momentous Public Relations. We're here today on the CTV site, which is very important to me because I was asked to assist the families soon after the earthquakes with advocacy given my background. The tribute you're about to watch was made by Gerardo Torres, who lost his sister here on the CTV site. He made the tribute to honor her, and sadly, it was made shortly before his sudden passing in October of 2022. So I'm here today to firstly honor his passing as a colleague and someone that I became very friendly with, but also as an advocate for CTV, I know he would be wanting us to remind the City Council and remind our government that lessons still have not been learned, which is something I raised with the Christchurch City Council last Wednesday. My name is Gerardo Torres and I came to New Zealand uh, over 25 years ago. And the reason why I came here is because my sister married a Kiwi uh, gentleman and um, they married in Peru and they came to New Zealand um, before me. A few years later, um, my sister told, recommend us to come to join, to join the family here. We are three children. We were, we were three children. When the uh, earthquake struck, um, so we were frightened because we felt strongly, but uh, we didn't see big damage in that area. Well, I, I was hoping that she was somewhere in there, uh, maybe out of the building, but as soon as I saw very close the building that collapsed and I saw just smoke, big smoke and fire, and helicopters um, throwing water from, from the sky. So I realized that she was in big danger. It took me weeks to realize because um, a lot of people were approaching and say, you have to believe in miracles. And uh, yeah, I was just every night, it was a nightmare for me, waiting and waiting for news. Till, yeah, finally, yeah, little by little, the hope was dying. Love your family, love your friends, but tell them, tell them now, now, not, not tomorrow, because tomorrow we don't know what's gonna happen remember the earthquake and uh, maybe tomorrow it will be late. This is the lesson I learned. I've emphasized the need for lessons learned and certainly we have learned lessons from the earthquake but sadly by contrast stark contrast there are examples not far from here of a new building in high street with 10 significant engineering deficiencies and as a consequence that building cannot be occupied and is likely to be pulled down then most recently we had an example where the fire service tried to move through the city to an emergency got caught up in the redesign principally to slow traffic down. A good example where the intention to encourage people to not bring their cars in caused a major issue for the fire service who had to abandon an emergency call. These are the lessons that have not been learned and this is the message I endeavoured to raise with the council last week and I'll also be repeating to the government when we speak with them about our concerns. So in closing, the important message I have is in honour of Gerardo Torres that we must learn from our mistakes. We must honour those that were lost 14 years ago. 
and that we must confront the truth and sometimes that can be very painful and that's very difficult sometimes for our councils and our government to understand. But we must, because we must not ever repeat the mistakes that on this site saw the tragic loss of 115 people that should still be with us today.